Keep it going for our troops. We actually got a gentleman in here who's been in three tours of Iraq. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hell, I bought that man a drink for my freedom. You damn right I did, man. What branch were you in, sir? Marine Corps. Uh, hurrah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool because I got to learn all the calls in the different, you know, branches over there. Marines got hurrah, you know. What's the Army got? Huh? And the Navy's got hurrah. And then what's, what's the uh, Air Force got? Latte, where's my fucking latte? <laughs> Man, I couldn't do your job. Thank God I'm a comedian. Cause when I was in Iraq, people, I got shot at twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it scared the fucking dog shit out of me. First time this round, first day we get into Baghdad, right? We gotta go do a show, so they put us on a Black Hawk, right? And they gave me my own personal bodyguard. I'm like, yeah, check me out, bitches. <laughs> Fuck with me, he's got a gun, motherfucker. <laughs> so then my bodyguard goes, where do you want to ride on the Black Hawk? I'm like, I want to be next to the window. <laughs> I'm gonna take pictures. <laughs> so we get on the black hog, and I am such a fucking tourist because they're having hanging out. They're gonna go, tsh, 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 tsh. yeah, a lot of fucking sand in this country. <laughs> they need to just nuke this motherfucker. <laughs> and about that time, all of a sudden, the black hog started kicking out flares out of the back of the helicopter. And we drop down in the sky, we bank 90 degrees this way, back this way, and I look out the window, and all of a sudden, a white streak comes up behind us. They shot a SAM at us, a surface-to-air missile. People out down there shit my pants. Right. All right, well, actually, it's more like a turtle. It kind of poked his head out, but went back in. <laughs> <laughs> Second time I got shot was the third day I was in Baghdad. I was actually in the green zone. I mean, well, it was real early in the morning. I had to go take a morning piss, right? We took a piss and come back smoking a cigarette, and all of a sudden I hear this siren go off. And I'm like, wait a minute, I know that noise. <laughs> Cause they briefed us. They said, "If this, you, if you hear this siren, that means take cover." Well, what they tell you to do and what you do is two fucking different things. Cause I was there. Oh shit! And now I turn into a fucking Bucks Bunny, Bucks Bunny cartoon. Cause I didn't know which way to go. I was like, what the fuck, mother. And by the time all you hear is, fuck, they got me. I was like, if they can smell Dookie, they're going to find my ass, man. But I appreciate it, man, going over going to Japan next month. I'm going to be the tallest motherfucker in that country. Like, oh my God, it's Godzilla. That's right, motherfucker. And I think all these young bucks, these young fellas, they always come up to me about a boss on marriage. Who's over here engaged? Who, which one of y'all getting engaged? Look at him. He's so fucking happy. Yeah. yeah, look at me. After 11 years of marriage, I fucking wake up every morning with a toothbrush and a gun going, one of these motherfuckers is going in my mouth this morning. <laughs> But when we hit seven years, we hit that seven-year itch. We had to go see a marriage counselor. We walk in a marriage counselor's office. We sit on the couch. The counselor comes in and goes, okay, let's find some common ground you both have in common, and we'll start there. Common ground. I was like, he goes, what's that, Mr. Cowboy? I said, okay, well, let's start how neither one of us sucked dick. Let's start from there. <laughs> No, think before you do in marriage, because some of the stuff that you think might be funny to you is not funny to her. Because I learned the hard way. Now I tell you, you know what? Last week when I'm home for my anniversary, I got in a doghouse on my anniversary. Okay? How fucking I got in trouble, okay? I took some garbage out. When I come back in the trailer, my wife didn't hear me come back in, right? So at this point in time, I'm thinking I'm going to play a joke on her because I'm a comedian. <laughs> and I'm married, that makes me fucking retarded. Because this was going to be funny as hell in my head. I was going to sneak up behind her and scare the shit out of her. How funny is that? So I did. I'm like, <laughs> this is going to be so funny. <laughs> I'm coming in low and slow like a some big covert operation, right? I get right behind her. Right when I get ready to goose her in her sides, this is what I hear. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> right when she did that, she spun around. She's like, oh my God, you scared the shit out of me. I'm like, apparently I did, honey, because my fucking eyes are burning. 
<laughs> it's so funny because she flipped out. She goes, okay, Calvin, let's get it out on the table. Let's get it on the table. Now you know that I poo. <laughs> that was your shit, honey. <laughs> she goes, this is what she goes. She goes, Cowboy, I'll tell you right now. Okay, let's get on tape. Sometimes when I'm feeling gassy, I wear them big, great white granny panties. I'm like, honey, what'd you do that for? She goes, that helped keep the smell in. <laughs> That's too much fucking information, honey. And ladies, you cannot do that shit in a thong. Do not do that shit in a tea bag. Don't. It sounds like a duck call. It does kind of like. <laughs> <laughs>